God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O blessed communion, fellowship divine, we feebly struggle, they in glory shine. Yet all are one, in thee for all are thine. Alleluia, Alleluia. If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat and wept, remembering Zion. On the poplars that grew there, we hung up our harps. For it was there that they asked us, our captives for songs, our oppressors for joy. Sing to us, they said, one of Zion's songs. Oh, how could we sing the song of the Lord on alien soil? If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither, O oh, let my tongue cleave to my mouth, if I remember you not, if I prize not Jerusalem above all my joys. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If I forget you, Jerusalem, let, let my right, right hand wither. In the presence of the angels, I will sing to you, my God. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered, you increased the strength of my soul. All earth's kings shall thank you when they hear the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the Lord's ways. How great is the glory of the Lord! The Lord is high, yet he looks on the lowly, and the haughty he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of affliction, you give me life and frustrate my foes. You stretch out your hand and save me. Your hand will do all things for me. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the presence of the angels, I will sing to you, my God. Adoration and glory belong by right to the Lamb who was slain. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Adoration and glory belong by right to the Lamb who was slain. Wisdom from above is first of all innocent. It is also peaceable, lenient, docile, rich in sympathy and the kindly deeds that are its fruits, impartial, and sincere. 
The harvest of justice is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. In the midst of the church he spoke with eloquence. In the midst of the church he spoke with eloquence. The Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding. He spoke with eloquence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the midst of the church he spoke with eloquence. Bernard, the eloquent doctor of the church, friend of Christ the bridegroom, eminent preacher of the Virgin Mother's glory at Clairvaux, you became the illustrious shepherd of your followers. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Bernard, the eloquent doctor of the Church, friend of Christ the Bridegroom, eminent preacher of the Virgin Mother's glory at Clairvaux, you became the illustrious shepherd of your followers. Jesus Christ is worthy of all praise, for he was appointed high priest among men and their representative before God. We honor him, and in our frailty we pray. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You marvelously illuminated your church through distinguished leaders and holy men and women. Let Christians rejoice always in such splendor. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You forgave the sins of your people when their holy leaders like Moses sought your compassion. Through their intercession continue to purify and sanctify your holy people. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. In the midst of their brothers and sisters, you appointed your holy ones and filled them with the Holy Spirit. Fill all the leaders of your people with the same Spirit. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You yourself are the only visible possession of our holy pastors. Let none of them, one at the price of your blood, remain far from you. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. The shepherds of your church keep your flock from being snatched out of your hand. Through them you give your flock eternal life. Save those who have died, those for whom you gave up your life. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, St. Bernard was filled with zeal for your house and was a radiant light in your church. By his prayers may we be filled with this spirit of zeal and walk always as children of light. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.